Hi, my name is Anne. Thank you for joining me today. And thank you to the new subscribers. I do appreciate you. It's a beautiful day here in Ontario, Canada, and I went for a walk this morning with a heart full of gratitude for Mother Earth and what we are given. I wanted to preface this report with a, just a bit of gratitude because the energies have been a little bit wacko wacko. Now I sit here looked pretty much pulled together, but I tell you a few days ago, it wasn't this way. I was whacked out physically purging huge amounts and processing some real strong energies. Now, this was definitely a challenge. I haven't been through a purging like that in a, quite a long time. But knowing what the process is about certainly helped. But what is coming through is this whole energy collectively around resistance. So resistance of something that resides within you. And when we are in resistance, we can't bring into our experience what needs to happen or what we would like to experience. So where is this coming from? Well, our powerful planetary alignments that we have been experiencing and some of the intense frequencies, which I'm not even going to talk about, but I'm sure they're off the charts because I have been feeling them very intensely for a number of days, weeks, whatever you want to call it. But there's this whole, uh, uh, resistant energy appearing and it's more I'm getting around the denial of the truths that are now coming through so we have this um, a more of a, a higher consciousness awareness this collective energy around the truths and this the becoming more and more conscious of that and there could be some who are feeling denial around what is really be, what they're really being told. And this denial can be something that is pushed down and, and, and within their body structure, within their DNA structure, so that they don't have to deal with the pain of it. Because quite honestly, it is and can be depending on how you look at it and how sensitive, emotionally sensitive you are, this can be some very difficult and hard truths to face. So we just, we shove them into the denial pile and pretend that they're not even there. So if that has been the case for you, you may be experiencing them presenting themselves in rather challenging ways. Now, how do you deal with this? Well, first of all, it is a lot of it has to do with what are you denying? So as these are presenting, really look at what is really coming through and try and tap in to some of the messages that you actually may be receiving. If you have questions around what it's supposed to be teaching you, then ask, write down the question. And very often what can happen is the answer will appear. It will appear in an email, in a television program, in a song, in, in whatever form tends to resonate with you. So I give you some tip there to remember to, to do that when you do have a question. So what we are trying to do is get through that denial and actually face that it is there so we can clear it and move on with our lives and really allow all of the good things to come to us, all of the abundance and the joy and the happiness that is meant to come our way. So you may be feeling like you're going backwards a little bit because our source and our spirits are, t are, are making us and forcing us with some of these retrogrades. We are sort of frozen to learn this message until we finally 
face it and we finally get it. Now it doesn't have to be that hard, it's only you're making it that way. If you allow and if you accept that there are truths and there are things that you maybe have been in denial about, it becomes even just a little bit easier. Resentment is presenting as well. So as we may have experienced um, people in our past or actually experiences in our past that have caused us pain, we may be feeling resentment towards these people. Now what happens is resentment keeps us in emotional bondage. And with that, we may see why we are experiencing this process of presenting this release to us. So we have to learn to really remove that program of resentment because some people want to keep us in that loop of feeling that anger and that resentment because it keeps us from moving forward and keeps us tied to the past. And we keep when we keep tying ourselves to the past, we can't seem to move into what we are meant to experience. So what happens is we have this, this, this energy that may be showing, one is one of the past which may be showing as depression and one of the future which may be showing as anxiety and you can see how that's going to cause a lot of tension but when we try and remove that and come into alignment with who we are in this moment it doesn't need to be present in our lives and we can actually just remove it so this is really your training and your mastering of yourself because that's really what the name of the game is. So learning how to break through this atmosphere of resistance is so important for your movement forward. We really work on ourselves and where we may be blocking our love and our happiness. And if we're hanging on to all of this garbage from behind us, we can't move in the direction that we want to. And that is being present in the now and flowing through the moments. This journey is really something that you are on and some of those issues from the past are something that you had to learn but really think about where you are now and what you have achieved it's quite impressive when you really give yourself credit for all the good things because your mind can tend to lately start to try and drag you into this negative programming process. And even when some good news and good events are presenting in your life, this, this, this negative programming is still trying to permeate your mind. So move out of your mind and move into releasing this bondage of resentment and send grace and send love and it's like well yeah well that's easy for you to say you know this person destroyed my life but the thing is is that as you hold on to this resentment it's actually only hurting yourself because it's bringing your vibration down. It's not actually affecting the other person. You may feel a responsibility to hold on to it, and maybe there's a sense of being afraid to let go. Why would I be afraid to let go of this crap? Because you're used to it. It's something that you may have grown up with, so it's extremely difficult to believe in the new version of what you are becoming but it is becoming and it is happening and there is good news on the horizon 
step out of your own way, send love, transmute that negative energy quickly. Once you have gone through a bit of this purging and realize that this is occurring, transmute that negative energy, be in this moment of this now and experience how wonderful it is and step out of your own way. You don't need to hold on to it anymore. Maybe release the need to see people as against you because that is a way for you to protect yourself and start to really spin your story your own way. Write it, rewrite it. Be unique, stand in your own power, move out into the world and experience things the way you were meant to. Nobody holds you hostage except yourself. I wish you all great success and joy along this journey. It certainly is a wild one lately. <laughs> I thank you for watching. If you resonate with me, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you.